Chance, our friend Amy West is back, and you were on about a week ago, and we were talking about traveling for the holidays. Yep. We wanted to get you back because you had some great ideas, but we wanted even more out of you, especially when it comes to packing. Yeah. And obviously, you know what you're doing. You're a lifestyle expert, and you travel all over the place. So when it comes to traveling, you're also an expert at that. So welcome back. That's right. Thank you so much, Mark, for having me back. You know, we started last week. We were talking about the essential bags to pack, and I'm big on carry-on. And if you're wanting to do carry-on only, it's very important to build a travel capsule wardrobe is what I call it. So we're going to go through a little bit of a quiz today. Are you ready? Do you think you're going to pass? I don't. I am horrible when it comes to that. <laughs> and to make it worse, like whenever I pack like with the kids, mm -hmm. they have like too many outfits to go for. I'm like, well, what if this happens? What if this happens? Kids so that's are a why whole nother segment. That's true, we'll that's get true, to yeah. that one. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to start here first. I'm going to start you easy with some guy things. So out of these two jackets, which one would you pack? Okay, so this is just my gut. I would go with this one, and the only reason why is because you could wear it to something a little more formal or something just kind of casual as well. So it's more versatile. Bingo! Exactly. Okay, you good. did it. You won awesome. this one. Okay, so yes, out of the two of these, both are nice gray, um, lightweight jackets, but I would choose this one because you can wear this one out for lunch. You could wear it to a bar in the evening. You could dress it up. You could dress it down. And, you know, if it feels a little weighty to put in your bag, just wear it on the plane. That's a great point. Mm -hmm. Yep, so that's what I would pack if I were you. Um, a second, let's do two button-ups. Which one would you pack? Uh, okay, so I'm going to go back to being conservative because I think this will match with just about anything. Very that, good. Okay, Bingo. Good. Okay, you're doing really good. You're acing this so far. Let's see if I can trip you up. Yes, so I would pack this one out of the two. The fabric is a little bit easier. It's not going to wrinkle. This one's going to wrinkle. It's also not appropriate for everything. This is definitely like fun, lively, maybe something you wear to the tiki bar. But this one you could wear to so many things. And versatility is key when you're packing. Okay, out of these two jackets, now we're going to the ladies' things. Which one would you pack? Ah, <sighs> that's a really tough one. A tough May one. See, I, I don't know. I, I go maybe with this one because uh -huh. it's lighter and maybe you could wear it with more things. You, you studied this before. Okay, yes, no, absolutely. They're both great choices, and I have packed both in the past. This is my favorite, though, because it has pockets on the inside. Ah. So when I'm traveling, I always wear a lightweight jacket that I can easily slip my phone and my passport into. And see, that's and it's the other got thing a lot of function for I didn't you. even think about that. It was the functionality, and you were talking mm -hmm. about that last time, how that is super important because, let's face it, you don't have a lot of options when you're there, so you want something that's versatile but also functional. Yes, is it versatile? Is it appropriate for multiple things? Can you layer it, and what kind of function does it have? Okay, these two dresses. I have dresses. no idea on these because they're both dresses with a pattern on them. <laughs> uh, okay, yeah, good, yeah, good, yeah. good. So, you know, it's a common myth, I think, that when you travel, you should just all wear all black. But that's not true. You can have a little fun with some prints and patterns. Out of these two dresses, I would choose this one. This one's from Cabana Life. What's great about it is it can serve as a bathing suit cover up because it wicks water, but you could also easily wear this out to lunch. You can dress it up, dress it down, layer it, and it's not going to wrinkle. So, yeah. that's one that I would pack. All right, next up, we have two. Blue shirts. Okay, so here's what I'm going to go with, and maybe I'm thinking, wait, you know, putting too much thought into this. This one, the reason why, because it's kind of simple, mm -hmm. where if you had to wear it again, people would remember something that has a pattern. Ah, very good. I like that. Yes, absolutely. So I chose the chambray top as well, and the reason why is you can layer it up. You can wear it open. You can wear it buttoned. You can wear it with a dress. You can wear it with jeans. You can wear it around your waist. There's so many ways you could wear it, whereas this is, you know, kind of a basic thing. It's a little thicker, too, so That's it's going to yeah. take up more space in your bag. How much time do we have? Uh, I would say a little more than a minute. Okay, okay. So let's go to hats really quick, and we can come back to the rest if we have more time. So out of these two hats, both great for the sun, which one would you pick? Yeah, again, I have no idea. Maybe that one because it's smaller, more compact. Okay, <laughs> okay. Ah, I got you this time. I would actually pack this one, and I'll show you why. Out of the two hats, this one is collapsible. Ah, there right? you go. So you can stick this one in your bag. It's not going to ruin, whereas this one is made out of a straw that if you stuck it in a bag, you're going to ruin it. So you're forced to wear it all the yeah. time when you're traveling. So that's what I would do with those two. How about a book? Would you bring, would you bring a book, Mark? No, I wouldn't. It would have to be like something digital. You know, I have a friend pack recently, and she wanted to bring three full-size novels. Oh, and no. I said, um, <laughs> that's what a Nook is for? That's what exactly, an e-reader yeah. is for? Use your e-reader, and then you can have an entire library of books. I know a lot of people like paper, but when you're traveling, yeah. e-reader is where it's at. Okay, out of these two pair of shoes here, which do you think, because I'm big on only bringing three pair of shoes. I remember you talked about the last time. Okay, so which shoes should we bring? I'm going to go, which one's more comfortable? <laughs> that's what I'm going to say. Okay. Is that something, or are you going to go with the pattern on this? I'm actually going to go with what's most versatile, and in this case, it's going to be these. They're translucent, and they're nude, and these can go with so many things, whereas these guys, 
I'm still struggling to find things to wear this with. It's kind of like a white jean moment. I don't really know what's going on with those. But out of the two, the more versatile shoes are where it's at. Um, and then a couple more tips that I like to share. So for me, again, I think when people think carry-on, they think, you know, you, don't, you have less options. Sure. You're not going to have anything stylish. Well, I love this one because it doesn't wrinkle. You can layer it up. And you can pop on a little accessory here and there just to add a little that more, is bit great. more excitement. Now, um, if people want to learn more, your website, amywesttravel.com, you have mm -hmm. a lot of tips on how to travel, how to pack, all that great stuff. And you know what? Maybe you're not even traveling by air where you have to you know, pack a suitcase. Right. Maybe you're going away for the week for the holidays. Well, mm -hmm. obviously, this could really help it out because even in a car, you're limited on space. Yeah. So you could use this strategy again for guys, girls, kids, whatever. So That's thank right. you so much. We learned a lot. Thanks for having me. All right, stick around. More to come right after this.